Have you ever been practicing and said, yeah, that's good enough? I'm gonna tell you in this video why that might not be such a good thing. My name is Josh Gu, and after years of studying the clarinet with some of the best teachers from around the world, I am excited to be sharing my knowledge with you. So go to quickstartclarinet.com or check the description on this video to see all of the wonderful resources I have to help you reach your clarinet dreams. And of course, subscribe to this channel for weekly clarinet and music tips and tricks. So hopefully you saw last week, I posted a pretty massive video on how to practice that goes really in depth with sort of a lot of game planning and just deliberate practicing that you can do to make your practicing more efficient and grow faster on your clarinet journey. So if you haven't watched that, definitely check it out either now or you can go out to that after this video. You don't have to watch that one before this one, but this video is very closely related to that. And I just wanted to make a little quick tip of something that I kind of noticed from that video that I think really applies. And that's this idea of saying, yeah, it's good enough. I was playing uh, something that I was working on that I was gonna be performing for some feedback with some composers. And I played this passage and I said, yeah, it's good enough. I wasn't 100% happy with how it sounded. It was pretty tricky with some crossing the break action happening. And I was playing it fine, but I was like, yeah, it's good enough. It could be better, but it's good enough. And then when I got to this uh, reading session and was getting feedback, it, they immediately could hear that it just didn't sound as good. And luckily we kind of blamed it on the composer that it was a bunch of crossing the break stuff. And it, it was a great learning opportunity for all of us, for the composer to see how crossing the break can be an issue on the clarinet. But I also think I probably could have played it better if I had actually stuck with it and said, okay, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to learn this, I'm going to really get it and not just say is good enough. In all honesty, it was good enough for that experience and it was fine. But if you want to be the best player that you can be, this idea of good enough can be a little dangerous. Now that being said, it can also be extremely unsatisfying to always say it's not good enough. If you practice and you're like, not good enough, do it again, not good enough, do it again, not good enough, do it again. That can be completely demoralizing and completely unmotivating. So I think what we should shift it to is never say that's good enough because of course there can always be improvement. I think what you want instead of it's good enough is I'm very happy with how that went. That is what I had in mind. That's what I wanted to achieve. Not like, oh, it's good enough. It's close. It's not quite what I really wanted, but it's good enough. That's what that phrase sort of feels like to me. So instead you want to practice until you say, I got it. It's not good enough. It's there. Like that's what it needs to be. So that's the end goal. But again, it takes lots of practicing to get there and we want to stay a little bit motivated and like ourselves a little bit as we, we get there. Side note, and maybe I'll make a video about this. Don't make yourself worth related to your ability to play the clarinet. It's it's a bad time speaking from experience. Uh, it's okay. You're, you're a fine person no matter how good you are at playing the clarinet. There's much more important things to be in life. But tangent aside, we have that end goal. To stay a little bit motivated towards that goal, we should replace the phrase that's good enough with the phrase that's good enough for today. So I think that's a way to have this balance of making progress during each practice session and knowing that you have that end goal in mind, um, but also sort of feeling good about yourself of, yeah, I made progress today. I think, I think I did it good enough for today. I'll hopefully be able to do it better tomorrow and the next day and eventually get what I really want, but that's good enough. I've made progress on this. I've spent the time that I wanted to spend on this. I've made the growth that I wanted to make today on this. That's good enough for today. I'll come back to it tomorrow and make it better. Not that's good enough. It's not what I want, but yeah, I'll just throw that in for the performance. It's fine. That's not what we want, but we want good enough for today. I'll get what I want tomorrow or the next day or the next day or the next day, whenever that may be. I thought this was really relevant towards the video that I made last week about how to practice. I talk a lot about finding those opportunities for improvement and how to actually implement those improvements. Uh, and I think this little mindset thing might be really helpful. So I just wanted to do a, a quick little tip of don't say it's good enough, say it's good enough for today, or I got it and that's what I wanted. 
that's that's what we should be aiming for. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Check out the video from last week. It's, I think, a really, really valuable video, one of my better videos that I've made. So I hope that you enjoyed that one. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Thanks for taking the time to watch it. And as always, I'll see you in another video.